Love Center News, keeping you informed on what's happening this week in your ministry. Thank you for coming to the Love Center. It is our prayer that today's worship experience will be precise, real, and clear. Welcome home. Love Center, let's give God the praise for those persons who have recently been baptized. We are praying for wonderful blessings to continue to flow into your life. Let's also take time to congratulate those who have recently completed the Intensive Care Discipleship Series. We are looking forward to awesome things in the ministry as you serve here at the Love Center. Love Center, on next Sunday, we'll be closing out our celebration of Heritage Month. Be sure to wear your African attire. Be a part of the Love Center's commitment to prayer on Tuesday mornings at 6 a.m. During this time, we seek God concerning the blessing of our families, our ministry, the nation, and the world. Strengthen your relationship with the Word of God through Bible study at the Love Center on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. at Love Center Atlanta, Thursdays at 6.30 p.m. at Love Center South, and again on Saturdays at 10 a.m. at Love Center Atlanta. Tune in on Sundays at 6 p.m. for the Shake the Nations broadcast with Pastor Byron L. Broussard on Shabak Radio. You can download the Shabak Radio app from the Google Play or App Store via iTunes. Thank you for supporting Pastor Byron Broussard and Love Life Ministry. Please do not eat food or bring drinks into the sanctuary, and all children from six weeks to four years must go to the nursery during worship. Be an active part of the worship, work, and witness of the Love Center. You can also share our ministry through social media, on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube as we seek to take this love to the whole world. This has been Love Center News, keeping you informed. Basically, right when you get downtown, there's a bunch of schools. There's a lot of HBCUs, Clark, E.S. Spellman, Morris Brown, Morehouse. But in the deep south, there's just, there's this cluster of HBCUs. In Louisiana, there's Southern and Grambling, and the DMZ, there's Howard and Hampton. Um, there's West Virginia State, which is right here. Um, there's just a bunch. You know, you see marching bands, you see the dancers, you see the Greeks, but you don't see the other stuff. You don't see the history, you don't see the struggle that they had to get through to get to where they are now. Post-Civil War happened, I mean, they had Jim Crow laws, so we really couldn't go to school, especially not at a white institution. So we made our own schools. We had to make our own schools, we had to get our own money, we had to decide what we were gonna do, we had to get funded, and that's basically where HBCUs came from. My, all my family went to HBCUs. My mom went to Howard. My uncle, he was a Kappa and he went to Morehouse. My, my aunts, they went to Spelman or they went to West Virginia State. Just a bunch of people in my family have done it. So it's been in my, in my blood for so long. Alumni really do care about this school. I, I really couldn't imagine myself going anywhere else. I couldn't imagine going to any type of other type of school other than an HBCU. Love Center, it's time for Homecoming 2019. 
Let's fill the gym with energy and excitement as our boys and girls close out their winter basketball season on Saturday, February 23rd. Our special musical guest will be Atlanta's Best Academy Drumline. There'll be plenty of good food and fun for everyone, including door prizes and giveaways. Show your Love Center spirit and support the Knights to Victory on next Saturday here at the Love Center. It's homecoming. On next Sunday, following our 1045 worship celebration, the Academy will present to you the Living Black History Museum, featuring our children's ministry. You will be impacted and inspired by the heritage of our people, past and present, as our children tell their stories. Don't miss this special treat next Sunday after worship. <laughs> 